Hey friends, Mrs. Volker here, and today we are going to do a value drawing. We're going to be drawing an ice cream cone and then coloring it using value. So you will need a white piece of paper or any paper you have around the house. You will need something to draw with like a pencil, a black marker in case you want to outline, and you'll need one color of crayon or colored pencil. I chose red. And you will also need a brown, either a pencil or a crayon. That's up to you. And if you don't have brown, you can pick a tan or something like that. So go ahead and grab your supplies and let's get started. Okay friends, so now that you have your supplies, go ahead and grab your pencil or if you had a black marker, that is fine too. I'm going to start at the top of my paper. If your paper is not as big as mine, that's okay, so start at the top. And I am going to draw an upside down U. Okay guys, next I'm going to make the bottom of my ice cream scoop by doing a curvy line with some U shapes here. So I'm going to one, two, three. Okay, so there is one ice cream scoop. Now I'm going to add two more scoops to my ice cream cone here. So I'm going to start kind of inside that first curve and inside that curve here. I'm gonna do a curved line down. We want these to look like they're overlapping, like there's an ice cream scoop on top of another one. I'm gonna do my curvy line again. Okay. Then I'm gonna repeat that step one more time. Two curved lines, I'm inside those curvy lines, and then some curves again on the bottom. So I have three scoops of ice cream. Now I need my cone. So from my bottom of my ice cream scoop to near the bottom of my paper, I'm going to do draw a letter V. For my ice cream cone. Okay, friends, next up, I'm going to add some value into my ice cream scoops. Now we are going to practice making a light, a medium, and a dark value all using the same color of pencil or crayon. We are going to do the lightest value on top. Now my trick when I'm making a light value is I try to hold the end of whatever I'm drawing with, whether that's a pencil or a crayon. When I'm shading in that value, it's a lot harder to press hard and accidentally make it too dark when you're holding on to the end. So just kind of slide your hand up and then I want you guys to try to color in that top ice cream cone, or ice cream scoop, sorry, as lightly as you can with whatever color you chose. Okay, so that is going to be my lightest value. So I did, I'm using red and I did light red. Again, you can use whatever color you want. Let's just try to use the same color for all three scoops. Now my next scoop of ice cream, I'm gonna press just a medium. I'm not gonna press too light, not going to press too hard. I'm gonna put my hand back down where I usually have it. And I'm going to just press like normal coloring. Again, not too, hard, not too light, just normal medium pressure on that pencil or that crayon. And sometimes I like to color one direction and then turn my paper like this and color the opposite. And that helps your color look a lot more even and it'll fill in some of those little white spaces you might have missed the first time. Okay. 
Okay, friends, so I have my light, I have my medium. Now my last one will be my darkest. Now I'm gonna press hard this time, but you don't wanna press so hard that you break your pencil or your crayon. I have definitely seen that happen before. So you may want to press hard and then go over it two or three times to make sure it's really, really dark. So that's what I'm gonna do. Hey guys, see that was a perfect example. I pressed a little too hard, my color pencil broke, and so I had to go sharpen it quick. So I'm gonna continue coloring hard, but not so hard that you bust your pencil or your crayon. If you do, just go sharpen it, or a crayon, you can always peel some of that paper off so you have more crayon left. Our medium and our dark three values of our red and again you might have picked a different color you might have picked blue or green or orange and you hopefully still have a light a medium and a dark of that color now what we're going to do is we're going to move on to our cone and if you wanted to you could take um, a black crayon a black color pencil a black marker like I have and you could draw some lines on your cone. You can also just leave it plain. That's completely up to you. I'm gonna do some crisscross lines here. Okay, now when I am coloring my cone today, I am gonna to use brown, you can use tan, and you could also use orange, you could use any color you have. That's up to you. Um, and I am going to do light, medium, and dark on my cone as well to add some value. So I'm gonna start on the left side. I'm gonna do my lightest brown. Again, I'm holding my colored pencil kind of near the end so I don't press too hard. As I get to the middle, start pressing a little bit harder. And then as I get to the end here, I'm gonna press a little harder. Now, one thing you could add is you could add a slight shadow underneath that ice cream scoop. So it looks like it's actually sitting on top of that ice cream cone. And you could, even if you wanted to, you could go and do that up here with your red and just do a little dark underneath that ice cream scoop. That's just a little extra if you want to add something extra, okay? Just to make it look like it's sitting on there. All right, friends, we have our ice cream cone. We did light, we did medium, we did dark, and we added a couple little shadows here and there to make it look like those ice cream cone or ice cream scoops were sitting on top of that ice cream cone. Hopefully you guys had a great time um, coloring and practicing our values today.